Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this typographic animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition i'll call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is one minute long and background color we will choose black color and simply hit ok go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title selection now press ctrl n to create another composition and over here width i'm going to choose 150 only I mean height 150 width is 1920 and I'll call it as text strip pan hit ok so we'll get something like this then press ctrl y go to the color options and we are going to choose something like this and hit ok and hit ok then press s for scaling option earning this out and we will decrease the size from here like this now select this layer press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 50 again we will select this we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it we will press s and again we will scale it down like this okay and hit u select both of them and simply lock these layers now let's go to the text tool and we will type our whatever text we want i am going to type typography animation okay now select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center we will go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this then select this text i'm going to type one dash over here hit space bar then over here hit two times space bar and type dash again select this text go to the character menu and distance between alphabets i'm gonna make it zero again select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now select this text press p for position and create one keyframe select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit u and we will delete this keyframe now we will select the second layer we will go to the five second and we will bring this out of this composition totally like this okay and alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this and we will select this first layer and we will make it apparent with the second layer so now we will get this continuous looping animation like this okay so our text strip is ready now let's go to the main animation comp hit ctrl 0 to open this text strip uh, and i'm gonna move this thing over here like this select this option and select selection tool let's double click to open this and press ctrl y and this time i'm going to choose black color and hit ok and simply bring this over here okay now press ctrl k to open the project settings of this main animation comp and in background color i am going to choose white color hit ok and hit ok now select this text strip hit ctrl d to duplicate it hold ctrl and we will snap this over here hit ctrl d hold ctrl and snap this over here select both of these layers hit ctrl d and we will simply snap these things over here and let's bring this two at the top like this now i'm going to select this one this one and this one by holding shift and i'm gonna bring them at the top right click go to the time and go to the time reverse layers so now we will get this animation in opposite direction okay now press ctrl y to create a solid background layer and i'm going to choose black color for this hit ok and let's bring this over here and we will simply lock this layer now we will select both all of the strips and i'll press ctrl shift c i'll call it as text animation and hit ok like this now right click new and create one adjustment layer like this go to the effect and presets panel and i'm going to type bulge over here so as you guys can see we will get this effect called bulge so we will simply click on it and as you guys can see we will get something sort of circle over here let's make this full resolution so we can see this properly and now i'm going to increase the horizontal radius of this one 
to let's say 400 and vertical radius also 400 let's make this 500 okay so we'll get something like this so if you see this animation you'll get something like this now select this and bulge height we will increase it somewhere around like this okay now after that i'm going to select my ellipse tool i don't want any fill so let's delete this fill and for the stroke i'm going to choose black color and hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse then press ctrl alt home let's go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and we will scale it somewhere around like this and increase the stroke width to let's say 12 percent and now we will select this shape layer we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for blur effect and we will choose gaussian blur we simply double click to apply and increase the blurriness like this okay so if you see we will get this kind of stuff over here now select this shape layer hit ctrl d press s and simply move this over here like this and increase the stroke width of this one and this time i'm going to choose white color like this and increase the blurriness totally up to somewhere around like this and press t for opacity and let's decrease the opacity of it like let's say 30 percent okay so we will get this kind of stuff over here now let's go inside this text animation comp right click new and create one adjustment layer and in effect and presets panel i am going to apply tint effect on it and simply double click to apply this effect and instead of white i'm going to choose red color and instead of black i think we should choose black only or you can easily swap these colors also if you want then i am going to select this adjustment layer i'll press s i'll unlink this and i'll decrease the scale of this one like this press r for rotation and rotate it like this press v and let's move this initially over here go to the start press p for position and create one keyframe over here now let's go inside the text shape and if you see our keyframe is over here so let's move this keyframe to properly at five second and in text animation comp what we are gonna do i'm going to select this adjustment layer as you guys can see i have already created one keyframe at the position i'll go to around five second and i'll move this thing from here to here so five second is our looping point and i'll go to my main animation and i'll hit n over here so this is gonna be my looping point for this animation okay so if you see this thing now we will get something like this animation okay now let's go to the text animation again we will select this adjustment layer we will hit ctrl d to duplicate it and right click new and create one null object let's select this and let's make it apparent with this null object select this null object press p and let's bring this over here like this select this adjustment layer and we will swap this color like this okay so if you see this animation now we will get this kind of stuff over here now we will select this adjustment layer or uh, as you guys can see we have one null object over here so we'll simply create one keyframe at this go to the five second and as you guys can see we have still one remaining portion over here so i'll move this null object over here like this so if you see this thing now we will get something like this and if you see this thing in our main animation comp we will get this kind of stuff okay now right click new and create one adjustment layer and i'm going to apply blur effect on it and i'll apply gaussian blur only and let's increase the blurriness somewhere around like this and repeat h pixels and i'm going to create mask on this adjustment layer so but before that let's increase the blurriness to 40 or something and select your rectangle tool and we will create one mask over here like this then press v and select this mask and let's adjust it properly at the center and let's invert this mask selection go to the mask and let's increase the mask feathers like this and let's go to the adjustment layer and let's make this blurry value to let's say 15 only 
like this and mask feathers i'm going to choose 500 let's select this and let's increase the size of it like this okay so if you see this thing now we will get something like this now again right click new and create one adjustment layer and we will apply cc lens effect on it so we'll get something like this it looks weird then increase the size of it like this let's make this 200 okay so now we will get something like this if you want then you can increase it a little bit again okay. like this and if you want then you can select this adjustment layer and you can increase the bulge value also if you want more bulge look over here okay then right click new and create one null object and let's select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null one select this null one go to the start and press p for position alt click on the stopwatch apply wiggle expression and let's type 3 comma 5 so we will get this kind of wiggle thing over here also so yep this is how we can create this kind of simple typographic animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned